guys, it's your girl Nadge. Thank you for being here for another video on my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about eight celebrities who had their plastic surgery reversed. Most women within our community, we need to talk about more because I just feel like we live in a generation now where it's like, just because we can do it, we do it. We have this culture of plasticity and, um, you know, superficiality and narcissism and materialism where we kind of just forget that we're naturally beautiful. I'm all for female empowerment. We can have these conversations, we can have those enhancements if we, if we feel something needs to be, you know, given a little push, if we feel like something needs to be corrected. But um, I think we need to exit out of this culture a little bit of overkill and really just explore in ourselves self-love you know? and I'm not saying those things are wrong like talk to me in, in 20 years perhaps I'll be a plastic surgery surgery um, advocate myself and, and, and I am now I, I love that people can have the right to do this but let's talk about the fact that people are reversing some of the the, the the um, procedures that they've had done the fact that people are reversing stuff says to me that it's not all, you know, diamonds and roses. So I, I see the common thread through all these people I'm gonna go through with. They basically just, after they have had these procedures reversed, they're like, oh my God, I feel like the old me again. It's unfortunate that we have to um, inflate ourselves with a bunch of fillers and stuff to feel beautiful or feel like we're keeping up with the Joneses. I feel like a part of it now, and a reason that so many young people um like molly may from love island like don ward's kids you know like kim zolciak's kids i feel like a reason that a lot of people young people are getting plastic surgery is just because it's keeping up with the joneses it's like they're so young they're already beautiful but they already have body image issues i, I think that we need to embrace aging gracefully you know and adding a little extra here and there it's okay but really consider the things that are reversible you know so that you're not making a lifelong decision and recognize that human beings are beautiful without all of that stuff and you don't necessarily need it but a little bit of push i think that's my consensus you don't necessarily need it but a little bit of push is okay and it would be golden if that push is reversible. First one is Khloe Kardashian. So apparently Khloe Kardashian, apparently she revealed that she had her face filler removed and the same thing I said. So her quote is that it did not work for me. I looked crazy and I still think the effects are in there. And this is an article from L'Officiel. Khloe Kardashian she is a prime example of sort of that idea, that concept that I was talking about of keeping up with the Joneses, of nitpicking at all these little things and body image issues because we know from keeping up with the Kardashians that Khloe Kardashian often felt in the shadow of her two sisters, um, Courtney and Kim, and we know that that bred some really nasty, like, you know, feelings of value about herself, which is sucky because I actually think out of all three of them, Chloe has the most personality. So, um, yeah, I think that it's, it makes sense. Moving on. So the other one was Yolanda Hadid. Now, I don't know if Yolanda Hadid had her, um, her procedures reversed when she was on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yolanda Hadid had a reversal during an episode, yes this was, she had removed her implants due to silicon leaking in her body. Y'all, I'm about to make a video about Wendy Williams really soon. I, the, what is the name of the illness that Wendy Williams has? Ah, uh, it's slipping my mind, I was just thinking about it. She has an issue where her, her extremities, you know, her legs and her arms will just puff up. I really think that she has this silicone leaking uh, issue because she's let us know, Wendy Williams has, that she hasn't changed out her implants since like the 80s or the 90s, I think. Not good, guys. You're supposed to flip those things every five years. So um, I, I want to say that Yolanda Hadid had something similar. I don't think hers, she had hers in as long without being examined and replaced or replaced or whatever. Um, 
as long as Wendy Williams did, but I don't know. I've, I've got quite big tatas, so I don't really need any um, additional weight in there, but even, I, I just feel like the implants thing, I don't necessarily think it's always needed. I think that a lot of people in modeling in Hollywood, they do that because they think it'll give them a leg up. Um, I kind of feel a, a way about that, and I don't want to go into too much, too much of a tangent, so I'll make this quick. The way I feel about that is almost the way I feel about my YouTube channel. Now, there's a lot of almost questionable, I would say, or dubious things that I could do to make my YouTube channel go fast, you know, like Popcorn Planet or something, you know, I could just... I could be a anti-pop culture, a social culture, war activist or whatever, anti-social justice. It's so weird to even think about that, that culture because you have social justice, people who are trying to get justice in society and then you have people who are trying to stop the people. It's just so weird. I could do stuff like that and I could get thousands of viewers very fast. Or I could just be on here telling blatant lies get thousands of viewers but I would rather take the slower route in building a community and being myself versus you know going faster and going further faster that's kind of how I feel about people who get plastic surgery in order to sort of um, propel themselves in Hollywood but so, Yolanda said, living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox, and extensions. I mean, she don't got to go too far. She can still keep the extensions, but she, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so next is Kylie Jenner. Now, again, I would, I would categorize Kylie Jenner along with, like I just said, you know, people like Kim Zolciak's kids, Don Ward's kids. Um, who else? Lisa Renna's kids. Candy Burris from Atlanta. I know her, her daughter got plastic surgery at a very young age. Kylie Jenner is get, getting older now. I think she's um, in her late 20s. I don't know. Mid 20s. Uh, but it says she was only 16 years old when she received her first temporary lip filler. Now, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to not sound offensive when I say this. Kylie Jenner did have some cute, sweet little baby lips. <laughs> I will say that. She did have these cute, sweet little baby lips before she got her filler. And so, um, I can understand that. I can understand her wanting to, um, kind of help herself out a little bit. I, I, I feel like it was sort of a move in haste, you know, of this getting plastic surgery at 16 years old. It seems like quite a young age. Now, um, next is Victoria Beckham, right? So, Victoria Beckham, she had her breast enhanced, and she denied it for the longest, you know? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so she had her breast enhanced, but she denied it for the longest. So then, in 2014, she had them removed, so I guess she had to come clean then. Courtney Cox, she had her face filler removed, and she has said um, she's sworn off of it completely, and she wants to embrace a natural aging. So getting back to it, guys, just like I said, like you've got to, you got to get your, you got to. Part of this needs to be you embracing your self love, love for yourself in your most natural form. And little enhancements are okay, especially if they're reversible. But you know. Do you love what's up under all the enhancements? That's got to be the real question. So, Nicole Kidman, she said, I did try Botox, unfortunately, but it got I, but I got out of it, and now I can finally move my face again. Right, so beyond even the body image issues that come along with this, what about literally just the physical repercussions that come with it? You know, like the... the the face is full of so tight, can't even, you know. <laughs> okay, next is Chrissy Teigen. Um, she says that she had her first procedure at 20 years old. She, she enhanced her breasts for a swimsuit-related photo shoot. And, um, yeah, 
Yes. So she she had those babies removed. Lastly is Molly May from Love Island. You guys know her. I love Molly May. Such a sweet spirit. That's this is the kind of person who you can see that they are beautiful on the outside, but they're also beautiful on the inside. Um, she had her veneers and composite bonds on her teeth toned down, is what this article says. This, and this article is from Nine and Now. Uh, I don't know about this uh, website, but okay. Um... And she said she had also reversed her lip and jaw filler procedures. Jaw filler? I didn't even know jaw filler was like a thing. Um, yeah, I mean, looking at the pictures of her before and after, I say to myself, good, good God, what, what were these people thinking? Like, she was already so beautiful. There was absolutely no need for that. And there's this other thing, guys, which... I feel like women look almost less feminine when they get filler. I I, I don't want to be that person who's like sounding like a conservative, you know, whatever. But I really do feel like there's, it doesn't look feminine. It looks, it, the, the, the angles of the face changes and, you know, Molly May had a pretty cute little chin in the beginning. And she had cute face, cute eyes, cute lips. She didn't need all of that. You know, the teeth, perhaps I can understand, but even with teeth, you know, like, you got to be aware that there is bacteria in your mouth all the time. You really want to go that far to get a, a beautiful smile, you know, and risk, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't you just get your teeth whitened, for example? Like, I... I don't know. I don't know. But you guys, tell me what you think about this. How do you feel about embracing natural beauty? Do you feel like plastic surgery is okay? Do you feel like it should be toned down in Hollywood? And also, what 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 sort of you know um, um, impression is it in, is it setting for young girls? You know what 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 impression is it is setting for even women? Like we can even take out young girls. Just general everyday normal women do they look at what's on tv and they see these public figures you know pumping themselves full of you know fillers and botox and breast implants and stuff and do they feel like they need to live up with those standards um i think some things just need to be sacred and we need to get back to how we feel beautiful on the inside that being said small things i think that those are okay but make sure they're reversible <laughs> But that is all for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and follow.